So we've done a lot of glomerular anatomy, and it was mostly to understand what are the things that prevent protein from being filtered. But it is complex and hard to remember, so I wanted to go over one thing that might help. You might notice that if you trace along here, along the epithelial cells of Bowman space, you can actually continue along to the podocytes and then get back to these epithelial cells over here. So all these things are continuous with each other. And so that might actually give you a little hint as to how this whole structure was formed. So initially what you had in development was these epithelial cells just forming a blind pouch. And so this is the beginning of the nephron and it continues down that way. And you had some capillary cells up here with the arterioles, the afferent, and the efferent, and all of that held together by your mesangial cells. And so as you can guess, this structure just pushes down into this one. And so after that happens, you get a picture that looks more like this, with these capillaries pressing in here. And let's keep drawing those arterioles and the mesangial cells. And then eventually it pushes in even more until you get something like this structure here. So basically these cells here that are up against this little vascular tuft start to change and become like these podocytes. And so hopefully that helps you sort of understand how this layer is continuous and how these podocytes cover every aspect of this capillary tuft, including the mesangium. So as you can see, the podocytes also line the mesangium that's exposed, not just the capillaries that are exposed.